Singapore, oh Singapore, you could be so beautiful. Your eyes could have shone through your heart, but you chose to block up the arteries and let your marketing department speak. Prop up the in favor votes. Prop up, prop up, prop up Gander. Free ads in the newspaper, all good, no bad. A Singapore so unreal, our realists don't even bother to dissect. Dissect equals descent. Simple equations like dollars equal cents. Lives are so simple, like an uncomplicated shopping trip to the fair prize mini mart. The way the population buy food, real dinner food, not savouries. Those are for minorities with some agenda of their own. Ah, but lives so simple. What agenda? Over here, it's all a money calendar. Fiscal this, cash flow that. The color of money, coloring our lives. A transparent rosy pink, at worst, green with envy. Let's rise to the rank of our almighty celery. Dangle enough carrots will even give up chiclets and wrigleys. We always like ours mint, don't we? It's fresher, smarter, intensifies buying power. Power, 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 not like powder. Powder soothes, but power without the D, as in D for democracy, just makes you pale. Then again, with enough minty freshness, your paleness could scare those more pale and powerless. Oh, Singapore, from you I've learned that arrogance is rightfully amoral. Oh, maybe that should be frightfully. You see, I'm the more pale and powerless. But I still remember how to write the word humility, or for that matter, compassion, honesty, not the traits to run a state so I run away as I will one day to some place up north where these eyes can shine from the heart and pray that my soul be redeemed in the next life from this place.